the doorbells are ringing, which means Corey Miller is here. Hello. Hi, Corey. Look what I and, brought with me. And he did as instructed. He brought his terrarium container. Because no surprises today, what we're going to do is teach you how to make a terrarium. Wait, hold on. What? It's not just any Tuesday. You know what today is? What is today? It's triple T. <laughs> it's triple T. It's terrarium t tutorial <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting to come in the door with that for the longest time. <laughs> It's not just any Tutorial Tuesday, it's Terrarium Tutorial Tuesday. And, there we go. And we were making a terrarium because Corey said, can we make a terrarium? I said, make a terrarium. absolutely we can make a terrarium. The whole backstory about why I wanted to make a terrarium is because I think miniature things and little miniature environments are so cute. Everything small is cute. And so anything yeah. that's, that's vegetation, that lives is right up Karen's alley. So, of course, I'm going to go to her and ask her and partner with her, uh, especially for a tutorial Tuesday now, uh, that we're doing a terrarium. Uh, I have a little bit of a surprise for you. This is fantastic. Because so I texted Lowe's, I texted Corey from Lowe's, who got a little excited there, uh, because I was at Lowe's and I was waiting for paint. There was no one in the paint department. It's a whole long story. Uh, and I'll tell you about my paint project later. Ooh. And I sent him a picture of all the plants and said, Terrarium Tuesday? Tutorial? Terrarium <laughs> And he said, yes. But in addition to these plants, mm. if you wanted to, you could do a succulent terrarium. And you could choose from amongst my succulents, which I have uh, an fantastic. abundant number. So you could do that. We could do that. We With my terrarium, we're limited on space. Very this limited. is a... This is about a four inch diameter bottom, and then it starts to get a little conical, I guess you could say, or it radiuses at the top. So um, like this begonia? Yeah, we can we split this though and create like little scenes with it? We're gonna find out. Because the reason I say that is I took this, I think it's an Aurelia. Can yeah, we... it's an Aurelia. And I took it to the sink and I shook it out and I tried to divide it. And my oh, concern yeah. is, it's like, I can just cut this, yeah. and we can have three trees, but I'm concerned that I might... It's such a baby. It's so cute. Aurelias are my kryptonite. I have never been able to keep an Aurelia alive. Oh. So I was very torn, but I've never tried to put one in a terrarium. So, we could try splitting yeah. this, and really up the chances of it dying on me, because that's what things do for me. But I also have uh, this little fern, which is super oh, cute. Oh my goodness, this kind of looks like a Dusty Miller. Corey thinks everything looks like Dusty Miller. <laughs> <laughs> I have some ivy. I have another little fern. So These ferns cute. stay small. And I forget what this is called. That this looks like an elephant ear of some sort. Arrowhead plant is what they call it. Mm, it looks like little uh, pond elephant ears. Yeah. So, so cute. These all stay small. These are all medium to low light. What about water-wise? Because we started talking about succulents and these don't... So what you put in your terrarium determines how much you water it. And uh, so I'm going to give you a quick tutorial. Ooh. What plants you put in are really, really important because they have to be medium to low light and they have to be able to handle what's likely to be a moist environment. If you want to do succulents, you have to work really hard to keep it dry. Mm. Okay? I don't want to do that. So what we start with is first layer is activated charcoal. Ooh. And what that does is keeps the water that's going to be in the bottom, that's going to happen, there's going to be a moment where there's water in the bottom, keeps it nice and fresh. And it doesn't get all stinky. Fantastic. The other thing we have is coconut core, which I have taken out of the package. Coconut core? Yeah. This is what it looks like in the package. It's oh. a little puck. And you put it in oh, water. It expands. And you soak it and it expands. That's awesome. Is that the base layer um, that goes after the, the charcoal? Correct. Okay. And then between the charcoal and your planting medium, you put some sort of divider. And of course, I have a roll of landscape cloth. Okay. So you put the charcoal in. You put the landscape cloth in, or whatever your divider uh -huh. is, and because nice. I also had. Uh, you were going to give us the rundown. Okay, and then your then your uh, planting medium. Okay, which is going to be the coconut. Coconut, or I also got uh, clay pebbles. Oh, interesting. Which is what we use for hydroponics. And, and that could take the place of that. Yes. So oh, wow. the clay pebbles can take the place of soil, and this would be ideal for a succulent terrarium mm. because it's going to give your roots lots of room and they will be able to get the water they want and not be soaked. And those retain moisture to a certain These extent. These do retain okay. moisture they make it available for the plants. And also, the fun part about this Tutorial Tuesday is that we have tools. Tools. 
They don't have batteries, which is okay. They're super cute tools, though. Of course, we have to incorporate tools. It looks like you just bought these. They've got the little uh, plastic deals on them. Or do you put oh, those? Still? No. Or I, you put I, those back on after when use? Corey said tutorium. <laughs> terrarium tutorial, tutorial Tuesday. Tuesday. I of course got on uh, Amazon. Who doesn't pass to say I that? But that's where I went. Have done this too. And, and uh, to get these two pairs, so you can see the difference. One is angled, yes. and one is not. And right? they have like on these kits that they have, they have like little tiny shovels and like little tiny uh, hose that you can use to to pull the soil. It's like you can really get into this stuff for very inexpensive cost. I think the tool pouch. And the tools were like around 12. I care and prepared. Yeah. I did not. I, she was a thinker. These two stainless steel tongs came in a set and they were eight bucks for the set. You can't beat that, guys. You can't beat that. And, and now I can pick Corey's nose. Yeah. <laughs> I can get lint off the of <laughs> Whatever I need whatever, to do. Whatever suits your fancy. So, and you can get all the little tools. I don't think they're necessary. I'm going to give you a smaller spoon to get your soil into your mm. thing or your pebbles, whichever you want. I have a big spoon for mine. It's just a slotted spoon from oh, my yeah. kitchen. Nothing That's a fancy. Great spoon. And we're just going to give you a teaspoon. That's fantastic. That'll work fine. All right. Um, so do you want to sit down? Yeah. Let's... First is your charcoal. And if I were putting this in a fish tank, I would rinse it. Oh, you've got another terrarium here yeah. too. It's I have, like a, I have um... two options. Oh, you even cut fabric for that as well. Yes. Yeah. So it's... I cut my uh, landscape cloth pieces for mine, but I didn't cut it for Corey. But I have a little piece here and I have scissors. This is like your daily cupcake uh, container. Yeah. With the, like a little, oh, it's so cute. And it makes a difference when you're making a terrarium, whether it's covered or uncovered. <coughs> and I would actually consider all of these covered because this hole is so yeah. small. I've seen people put corks in it. Do I need a cork for this to c contain no. the moisture? All of these plants will be fine. And what you can do is do you have a little mister? Uh, I'm going to when I get home and after and I get on. It's going to be one of those little ones. Like, <laughs> of and course it's, gonna it's going to be copper or gold. Yeah. It's going to be so tiny and it's going to be like. It's going to be the cutest thing and it's going to live with the terrarium. All right. That's charcoal, huh? This is charcoal. And because of the shape of this container, it's very round at the bottom. I'm putting a little more charcoal in. Oh, this is going to hang. Yeah, so I have a place in the bedroom that has a little hook that this can hang on, and it'll be super happy there. And because this is a tall one. So, we have our charcoal. Next is our divider so that the soil doesn't soak down into the charcoal. And uh, mine's just a little bit too big, so I'm going to make it a little smaller. Wait, that's not yeah, you don't want to see that. No, you, you don't want to see it. I mean, you won't really see it because the dirt comes up along the sides and it'll be sort of hidden by the dirt. As okay. I go through this motion, I think about, like, if I were to do this for a living, I would get, like, a little funnel. Yes. To get your medium in there, whatever medium that may be. For I'm that. sure people who make terrariums for a living have funnels. Karen and I were talking about potentially hosting a terrarium. Uh, class mm. and I don't know if I'm jumping the gun and Karen's cringing right now. No, no um, But we were thinking about hosting a terrarium class and what we could do is we'll provide all the supplies Except the container in case you have a container that you really like, but we will also have containers for you and mm. what court Corey says we are thinking of hosting a class. <laughs> the only reason Tutorial Tuesday happens is because I abuse Corey in text messages and say, are, are you coming? Are we doing a show? Uh, what are we doing? We I doing? know. I was actually semi, not avoiding it, but I was recuperating this week because it was Christmas, uh, the week after Christmas, and the week before New Year's, of course. So it, it a little is, recuperation period. It is a good time to take a little time mm -hmm. off. And just relax and enjoy yourself. You know what? Yeah, and I've been doing a lot of uh, classes today, so. I'm gonna get this. Week. Oh, because he's learning how to be a realtor. I'm going to be a realtor. Yeah, I've this been is putting very it off exciting. for so long. Like, I don't know why, but it's in, it's it's been it's time. I'm not gonna make this one now. I'm okay. gonna put it aside. And I'll make it later. Oh, this is wet. It is wet, and that's why I have this about, slotted like... spoon. Oh, okay. And wait, before you put that in. I might just. Where's your Where's your uh, divider? No, oh, I haven't put that Just in yet. Just jumping ahead of you. Yeah, gun. I like this little layer that I have here. Is that too much? So 
Sometimes I overkill, and I know I do sometimes. Uh, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little begonia out of the pot, and I finally got smart, and I went to my favorite place, Amazon, of course, and I bought a vinyl elastic cover for my table because uh, underneath it's stained. I need Hi. something to uh, mark this with. Sorry. Mark it? You can't yes. just cut it? Well, I'm weird. How are you going to mark it? Uh, I was going to use a, 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 a utensil, a writing utensil of some sort. Let's Let's see this. if we can. I'm very gently trying to break this begonia apart for Corey. And it but looks like. I, mean, I know, I see you. Hi, you've been seeing I'm, I'm watching Kelsey's dogs today. Oh my god, the more, the more you try to avoid him, the more he's like up in your grill. I know, he is cute. He's super cute. He's just as sweet as pie. And I don't think you can see him, but here. Wait, we'll show you. So there's Cooper, the black dog. Cooper, do you want to come say hello? There's Cooper. And then Ted. Oh, there's Ted. He's just a throw rug. He just finds his spot on the ground. There we go. And he makes himself at home. And Adele is out of her cone. She got her stitches out. Her problem, she's still healing, and her problem is, is she's in denial that she ever had surgery. Corey, I don't know if I can get these apart. Like, I look, it looks like we have a couple plants here. Um, and look, I can even just use these little tongs to position. How's yeah, that? Yeah, you can. That's nice. I even made my uh, plant cloth, whatever, landscaping cloth fabric, a little bit smaller of a diameter so you can't see it from the side. Oh. I, I think that that's that little detail matters, like yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to look at this terrarium every day and think, wow, I'm so glad I made that plant cloth a little bit smaller. Alright. <laughs> okay, I know. Hi. So You're a cutie. Let's, uh, uh, let's put this little guy in there. I, oh. Adele's the leader. See what she's doing? I know. She's just laying there being good. Can you put this little guy in there? Will he fit the oh, hole? He's so cute. You're gonna, you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the edge of the Corey's container dirty because it's so small. That's okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe it off when we're done. I'm gonna, gonna take gonna a little okay. cotton ball to the tweezers and I'm just going to wipe down the inside. All right, so. And I don't wanna put any of the uh, coconut stuff in there right now yet, do I? No, I think you wanna put that in around. Oh shit. Oh, don't curse, Corey. Oh, I don't have the ability to bleep. <laughs> oh, um, he, he was dead anyways. What movies were you have you been watching? Oh, you know, we just got done watching Christmas movies. Thank God. It's over. <laughs> you don't like Christmas movies? Uh, you know, some of them, some of the lower budget Christmas movies are a little tough to watch. Um, I definitely like some classic Christmas movies. Like? Um... Well, A Christmas Story, and then National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Oh, you call those classic. What's oh, the one yeah. with Jimmy Stewart and Donna Reed, where oh, the angel wait. gets his wings? Uh, Isn't that horrible that I can't remember the name? I don't actually know. A Miracle on 34th Street? No, no, no. A Miracle no. something. You guys, in the comments, let us know. Isn't that terrible that I can't remember the name? Um, you know, at first I thought this was going to be tragic dropping him in there, but look at how happy he is so far. And I also like that, am I wrong for not having the coconut stuff in there yet? No, you're going to put it in next and you're going to talk, you know, put it in around. Okay. And you're going to be in good shape. Stand up. And let's get you down in there. At, did you bring any little uh, gizmos to put in your terrarium? So, I, I was about to... It's funny you ask that question. It's like you know me. <laughs> so, my Christmas tree is still up. And um, I probably won't take it down until the end of January because it makes me very happy. Um, and I was looking at it, and I'm like, I have a lot of cars on my tree, of course. And one of them is a, a Tonka dump truck. Oh. And I thought, of, I thought about donating the Tonka dump truck to my terrarium, but the opening of my terrarium was too small for it to actually fit in. But... But now it's inspired me to find something even smaller to, to find something larger. Oh, to make another terrarium. To make another terrarium. Like it would fit in Karen's, but it would also be very large for hers as well. Like it's it's about, I don't know, 
about a two by three Let me show you what I want to size put dump truck, but I thought it would have been cute because then I could have put a little bit of dirt in the back of the dump truck and it would have been carrying it to the terrarium scene. Oh, that would have been cute. I uh, know. Yeah. So I have two things that I'm thinking of. I don't know what oh, this is. What is that? It's a good luck charm that my mother found somewhere and oh, gave me. Oh, that's freaking adorable. And then I have this cute little frog. It looks like a penguin with a hat. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna have to clean it off before I put it in because I put my dirty hands on it. Can I have more of this? Can I have more of this? I think I can get you more of that. Because this I would love to have a little bit more of that surrounding my um, elephant ear. That's a begonia. It's a begonia. It's a begonia. Just so everybody knows, that's a begonia. And I can tell you exactly what kind of begonia if you want. Uh -oh. Let's Are there see. different... Um... Uh, Rex. Begonia Rex. There's a lot of different cultivars of begonia Rex, though. Um, that's, that what you're putting in there now is called... Hemigraphis alternata. Hemigraphis alternata. So, um, hmm. The dogs have all settled down. This, Let's see if uh, we can get a little more. You know, this is just as intense as I thought it was going to be. And I'm, and I'm into it. Because it's very detail oriented so yeah, that you have right up Corey's alley detail you oriented. have to have the plant positioning just right so that when it does mature inside this container it makes sense for future oh. Wait, for I'm future show you living something else. Uh, they make really long scissors for pruning these oh, of course they do I bet they're little small long scissors too just like these I feel, I'm like ready to add water already. So let me start that again. They make super long scissors for pruning. So you can get in here and you go do do um, Of course they do. And then you take do. your tweezers and you take your leaves out. And do you want to touch these? So as we go through the motions, you know, I was uh, looking at the tools. And now, of course, I have to get tools now that I have a terrarium. <laughs> uh, not just building tools, but maintenance tools. And as we go through this process, I'm going to really gain an understanding as this is to too big for this. Uh, what tools are important to have. Because Karen and I were talking about the tool kits that they have, and she's like, ah, you, I don't know that you really need a, a little tiny shovel. And I don't. You really don't. It's excessive. <laughs> he wants one anyway. <laughs> I definitely want one anyways. And it would be super cute if there was like a little tool rack next to my terrarium. So oh. that you could like really get into it and like maintenance you. <laughs> so I see another tutorial Tuesday coming where we make a tool rack for Corey's terrarium. A tools. terrarium tool rack tool, tutorial Tuesday. <laughs> we'll have a quadruple T coming at you. Can you find a T word for rack? In time decision to use. I am making an absolute mess over here. That's the whole point of doing a terrarium is you make a little bit of a mess. I need tweezers now. Where's another pair of tweezers? No, these will be fine for me. Um. I decided to try the clay balls in here, mm. and getting them towards the back is a little trickier than I thought. I should have put them in first, is what I should have done. Like, as I put my plants in, I should have put the balls in, and Cooper's found a ball that I dropped. Oh, yeah. And luckily, C Cooper's the dog who can eat anything. Ted cannot eat anything. Oh, Cooper, thank you. You didn't want to eat that? You just wanted to let me know it was there? We'll put one with dog saliva in now. Cooper's a little smarter than Ted. Well, <laughs> Ted Ted is now aware that something is happening. He's like, "What? Is there something for me? I can't pet you, my hands oh, are I see all dirty. why you. Um, I see why you're putting the clay balls. The clay balls probably also really help stabilize the plants in an upright fashion, which uh, I'm assuming I'm about to find out. I need a little spoon. Uh, in the kitchen, to the left of the refrigerator, there is a silverware drawer. I'm going to wash my hands before I put my hands in your silverware drawer. Oh, wow. That's that's more than I usually do. <laughs> What's that? That's more than I usually do. Oh, no. Um, and because these plants were just watered yesterday, and they're in these cute little pots that just, uh, here, let's see. Uh-oh, uh-oh, don't eat that, Ted. Let me get it. It's not interesting, thank you. You're such a helper, Ted. Uh, I'm having to place these clay balls towards the back one at a time because, I mean, it's a good thing I'm cute because I'm not very smart. <laughs> Is that my situation? 
It's definitely Corey's situation. Well, I think the more... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I think the more that we go through this uh, terrarium building exercise, I feel like we're gonna get good at it. Though. Like, I'm already navigating this thing pretty. The hardest part is finding plants that start small and stay small. Now, I've been making terrariums since I was about eight. My mother was in the garden club in the town where I grew up and she started a junior garden club and terrariums were a regular craft that we did. Uh, but that doesn't make me any better at it just because I've been doing it. Uh, the trick, so, the point of this story is, <laughs> let, me, let me land this plane, is that I, I of course, did my research before we started this, because I know how to make a terrarium, but I thought, uh, let, me, let me refresh my recollection and make sure I'm giving the people everything they deserve. And I made a list with images of all the plants that work well in terrariums. And so when I was at Lowe's waiting for the paint, and there were all those terrarium plants I had in my mind, Oh, that's right. Begonias are good. Ivies are good. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, and having a little tree form in there is good. So, let me figure out a way to make that list accessible to all you. Mm. Uh, you can put it in the comment section. Technology. How do you do that? You put it. You, you just comment on the post after we uh, post the... Uh... But how do I comment a Word document? Oh, no. I think you would just put the links there. So how do I link to a Word document? Oh. See, technology. Uh, the three keys to aging gracefully. Uh, Multi-generational friendships. This comes back to technology. A cute haircut and stay up on technology. Mm. And I've tried to stay up on technology, but there are some things I just don't know. I just don't know. So if any of you know how to link a Word document to a social media post, if you're an expert in that field, uh, put it in the comments. And this may not even make it to the video because we are clearly beyond seven minutes. Well, you're just gonna cut this up in a second. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, we're clearly beyond three minutes. Uh, so maybe I'll just put that in the very start and say, all right, I, I feel like an ant right now. You know, before we, uh, ventured into this endeavor, I was visualizing in my head how I would proceed in doing this yeah. little dance, and I am nailing it, Karen. You are nailing it, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> I am so Here. freaking OCD. I'm gonna like, get you a cotton ball for your tweezers. And also, like, once I missed the dirt off the leaves of these plants, it's going to be epic. And I'm trying to figure out if I've got enough in there. I don't want to overcrowd it, Karen. No, because they will grow. Yeah. So here's... I feel like these are really balls. good starters. And also, Karen, uh, back to your point, you want to pick plants that are not only conducive to be in a terrarium, whether it be a succulent or something that needs moisture, but also um, bonsais would be super cute uh, in this little scene. Well, um, and, and this list that I made has uh, soft and hardwooded tree form plants, which are nice to put in the middle to give you some height, right? Look at, clean it up, Corey. I, I know I will. I'm just giving them, it's kind of the reflection of the glass is killing my, uh, my situation here, but... Oh, uh, yeah, I do need to clean it up. Yeah, there's a mean glare. We'll fix that up. Oh, I need to pull it away. There we go. Oh, uh, look how cute that is. <laughs> Ted, don't move. <laughs> <laughs> I work around, I'll work around you. Literally is like saying to a throw rug, don't move. Yeah. Like like you had to say that. Like he was going to move. He wasn't going to move, Corey. Ted's on the floor. I have to walk around him. Excuse me, Ted. So there we go. There's the little clay balls. Uh... How many inches did you put in there? Like an inch of them? Uh, or just enough to cover the soil? The only thing I'm concerned about is this right here. Let me show you. I have some roots showing. And roots don't like direct light. So I need to do something about that. But other than that, I'm pretty happy. Let me turn it this way. This is almost like a... Uh, jiggery these guys. A, a zen sand garden. 
And then oh, think, oh, putting it together feels well, very zen. Yeah, just the uh, act of messing around with it is very satisfying. Oh, there we go. There like, we if you go. get frustrated in doing this, you just need to go seek the therapist. <laughs> <laughs> Not terrarium therapy. Yeah, maybe some people aren't cut out for terrarium therapy. All right, I'm happy with that. Super happy. I, uh, I'm almost done too, Karen. Now, you know what? I need to clean the The frog inside. is going in. The frog is going in. Because look at, he's like, he's like, yes, this is where I want to live. Right here. Oh! All right, I have to show you again because the frog's in there now. Excuse me, Ted. Excuse me. Excuse me. Look at the little frog. <laughs> he's super happy in there. And I think I'm going to hang this over my kitchen sink because that's a north window. And it gets north light all day long. And the, uh, although the bedroom window is east light, so that would also be good. And the curtain rod in the bedroom, because I hang plants on curtain rods. Here, let me show you. While Corey's playing, uh, I can take these off now. So, in the living room, I have a curtain rod above the window, and instead of curtains, I have plants hanging on it. Oh, there's Cooper. There's lots and lots and lots of plants. Too many plants, Kelsey says. I don't think there's any such thing as too many plants. No. Um, and since we have these plants left over, I think what I'm going to do is make what's called a container garden. Uh, so I'll take a nice shallow bowl. I have one downstairs on my potting bench that doesn't have anything in it right now. And I'll just mass all of these plants into that shallow bowl. I'll put the Aurelias in the center because they'll get the tallest. And then the ivy, the fern, the fern. I don't think you did this any damage at all, Corey. Did you you did a nice job. Look at him. He's got a cotton ball on his tweezers. He's cleaning the inside. How satisfying is that to watch? Look at how clean it's getting in. That's so fantastic. Look, I have little clay pebbles in mine, too. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the little tiny fern that's going to be surviving by, within an inch great. of its life. It's going to do great. You know what's driving me nuts is there's like little soil particulate on my plants that just could be crazy. Uh, you know what you could use to get the soil off your plant? A little mister? No, a feather. Oh. <laughs> um, I have a whole collection of feathers in the garage. We're not going to do that right now. We're not going to go dig out no, the feather okay. collection. But if you need another cotton ball, Corey, get another cotton ball. That one's all dirty on the outside. Oh, it's doing just fine. Is it doing okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So Success! So thanks for joining us. I made such a mess. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, when Corey came in, the dogs were very excited to see him. We didn't show you this part. And uh, I have a plant stand that's very lightweight with a plant on top of it. And Ted bumped it. And... <sighs> everything crashed it's so chaotic yeah and but you know what it was really easy to clean up no big deal i can repot the plant the plant actually wasn't hurt the pot broke mm -hmm. and, and shattered and uh sort of cushioned its fall okay so i feel like i feel like we should get up there close with our two little little things oh yeah that definitely needs a dump truck in it a little tiny dump truck <laughs> so, so thanks for coming along for the ride and making a terrarium with us remember charcoal landscape fabric some kind of planting medium we uh did a combination of soil and little clay pebbles and um we're gonna take these home i'm very happy with them. this right now <laughs> Look at, you're gonna see Corey's face when he's very happy <laughs> also in the comment section let us know if you're interested in doing a terrarium tutorial Tuesday with us. Yeah. But you have to obviously live in Indy. If you live in Australia, we know you live in Australia. Thank you for possibly letting us know that you want to do it. Or you could fly, fly. to Indy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Come it's visit us true. because we would love. In fact, I'm currently planning a trip to Australia. And so oh. I would love to have some of our Australian friends come here and tell me where I absolutely have to go it's in fantastic. Australia. Yeah. I'm, I, I got a map because I need a map to plan a trip. But yay, yay for terrariums. Come build Make terrariums with us. Yes, thank you. See you.